Hi guys, today we're going to be working on the second half of lesson 8.5, factoring when we have equations in x squared plus bx plus y form, or x squared plus bx plus c form. Uh, today we're going to look at problems four and five. Problem four is applying factoring trinomials. So our word problem is we have a rectangle, a rectangle's area being represented by x squared minus x minus 72. And we want to know what the possible dimensions for this rectangle are going to be, and we're going to use factoring for this. So we know that a rectangle is length times width for area. So now we're going to take that x squared minus x minus 72 and figure out what are our lengths and what are our widths. And we're going to factor it. So we know that we need to find the products that are going to add up to negative 72, or multiply to negative 72, and add up to negative 1. All right, so products of negative 72. Well, there's 2 and negative 36, and that adds up to negative 34. That doesn't help. We've got 6 and negative 12, which adds up to negative 6. That doesn't help. We also have 8 and negative 9, which adds up to negative 1, which is what we're going for. So our two factors are going to be x plus 8 and x minus 9. And there we go. It's as simple as that. As always, you can double check your answer by foiling, and you'll get that we started with x squared minus x minus 72. All right. Our second example here, we have letter B. The area of a picture frame is given by the trinomial x squared plus 16x minus 16. And we already know that the length of the picture frame is x plus 8, and we want to know what the width is going to be. Well, we can do this pretty intuitively. If we know that our last terms to multiply are going to be 8 and something, and they're going to give us negative 16, well, what can we multiply 8 by to get negative 16? It's minus 2. We could have also gone the route of finding our factors of negative 16, which would be 1 and negative 16, 2 and 8. And there we go. All right. Problem number five is factoring a trinomial with two variables. So these get a little trickier, so we're going to have to take our time. So our last term, we're looking for products that are going to give us negative 27n squared that are going to add up to 6n. All right. So my products of negative 27, we've got 1 and negative 27. And we've got negative 3 and 9, or 3 and negative 9. So now let's add up our sums. Negative 27 plus 1 is negative 26. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. But we want a positive 6. So we're going to add in a factor of a negative 3 and a positive 9. Just flip those signs, and now we have a positive 6. So our first term is going to be an m, and then we are going to subtract 3n in one term and add 9n in the second term. And now we're going to FOIL it and check our answer. So m times m is m squared plus 9n m minus 3mn minus 27n squared. We can combine our like terms, m squared plus 9mn minus 27n squared. And that's what we started with. Okay. Our second example, letter B, we've got products of negative 6, 6y squared that are going to add up to negative y. So we've got 1y and negative 6y. 
That's going to give us negative 5y. doesn't get us there. We've got a positive 2 and a negative 3. That helps us because that adds up to negative 1. So now we just need to plug these factors into our form. We've got uh, x's to start. We're going to have a plus 2y and a minus 3y. And there we go. We're going to FOIL it to double check. x times x is x squared minus 3xy plus 2xy minus 6y squared. x squared minus xy minus 6y squared. And that's what we started with yet again. Alright, so we will see you all in class tomorrow.